Welcome. This is what has been happening on the Sun today, the 17th of April 2011. First let's take a look at the Sunspot regions. We have lost 1192 and 1194 over to the West Limb. 1190 continues to be our most active area. 1193 is also a fairly impressive spot group. 1191 is very stable. <clears throat> there still is a small spot at high latitude in the Northern Hemisphere, but it's been fading, so I doubt now that it will ever be numbered. While we see some plage coming over the East Limb, there are still no spots visible in the region in the south. And if you look at the X-ray movie later on, you'll see that there's yet another region coming over the North East Limb. On the flare front, things have quieted down a bit. We've only had three C flares since yesterday's video, and the X-ray background has dropped down to the B4 level. Now let's do our 360 degree tour of the Sun, starting with Stereo A, which is the head of the Earth, so we're seeing the regions that have rotated off the disk in the last week. In these two repeats you can see the activity in region 1190, near disk centre, but not a great deal else is going on. To see what is happening on the part of the Sun that is facing the Earth, we turn to the Solar Dynamics Observatory data. Once again we have a full complement of that data. So starting with the Sunspot movie and the Magnetic movie, the thing to look at here is the slow development in our two major regions. Without rapid development there, there is very little chance of a major flare. In the Helium 304 movie, I would like you to keep your eye on the filament that erupts just to the west of Sun Center in the Northern Hemisphere. I think this is the origin of the CME that we will see later. The region of interest in the Chronal movie is the East Limb. In the south we have a region just coming onto the disk, and in the north there is a region behind the limb which looks fairly dynamic. To complete our tour we turn to the coronal data from Stereo B, or to badly paraphrase Dickens, the ghosts of regions yet to be. We can see that the major activity is not in the leading part of the region coming over the southeast limb, but is in the trailing part of the region which is still as yet well behind the limb of the sun to us. There's a fairly large region coming around in the north, but that's going to be at least a week before we see it. Putting all that data together we get a full sun image of solar activity in the corona. We can see the string of active regions in the north that are rotating off the disk at the moment, so things will quieten down in the north for a while. Now, if you look at the south, just behind the word visible on the caption, you'll see there's a dark area. That's the southern polar coronal hole. Why can't we see the northern polar coronal hole? The reason is that the Earth's orbit is tilted with respect to the Sun's rotation axis. At the moment, the Sun's southern pole is tilted towards us, so we see the coronal hole there much more clearly than we can see the one in the north. A coronal hole is an area of open magnetic field lines, where the plasma is cooler and less dense, so it appears darker. Hence the name coronal hole. It's along these open field lines that the high-speed solar wind flows. They stretch well beyond the Earth, in fact right to the edge of interstellar space, forming the heliosphere. So, in effect, they are very important to us. We have had several CMEs in the last 24 hours. However, the one I mentioned yesterday that uh, Noah said might be geo-effective, they've backed off of now and say that it probably won't be. First, let's take a look at the two SOHO coronagraphs. First, C2, which shows the inner corona, and then the larger field of view C3 instrument. And then we'll take a look at the same coronal mass ejection from the side from the Stereo A spacecraft. The auroral zone remains fairly quiet, with the KP index varying between 0 and 1. So in summary then, the sunspot number has dropped a little to 97 and I think it's going to drop some more. The X-ray background is down to B4. The radio sun is emitting 119 solar flux units. Solar wind speed has dropped yet further to 320 kilometers per second, and the KP index is rated as quiet. So my forecast for the next 24 hours? I still think C flares are very likely. There are decreasing chance of M flares and a very low chance of X flares. I think we're still going to continue to get coronal mass ejections. However, with no geo-effective coronal mass ejections uh, forecast and a very low speed solar wind, I think the chances of getting a major geomagnetic storm and the accompanying aurora are quite low. That's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.